Hey everyone, welcome to Midnight Tech. D. Josh here, and we've got something exciting today. Um, we have the unboxing of the new Xiaomi Mi Pad 5, all the way from China. Um, really excited about this device. So really exciting, and I've also ordered the um, keyboard case. So we'll be looking initial impressions as well. So really excited. Yeah. So ordering this uh, through Lazada it was. Uh, um, just about two weeks, a week plus, and uh, the reseller um, shipped this with the other stuff as well. So a bit of a bonus. Uh, they just threw in a power bank. Uh, this is good because they gave a 33 watt fast charger, uh, Xiaomi fast charger. Obviously a power adapter so that uh, can use it in uh, Malaysia where I live. Also a, a Bluetooth headset as well. Yep. To put that aside so we'll just look at the um, Xiaomi Mi Pad first and there you go yeah so I'll be also showing comparisons with the iPad Pro uh, 2020 and um, and how does this stack versus Apple's iPad right and let's look at what's in the box I'll put this aside first So this is a USB-C to headphone adapter. So you're using traditional headphones, uh, very simple manual. Yeah. Okay, so really there's nothing much in the packaging. We'll look into the Mi Pad soon. We'll unbox the case as well. Much taken inspiration from the iPad Pro down to the keyboard case. So for those who are planning to get a Mi Pad, there are two versions here, the Mi Pad Pro and the Mi Pad. So which would be um, suitable for you? Alright. So I got the green color option. So it's a bit more standout actually. So you can see that it's got a very iPhone Pro type of uh, uh, texture back so this starts from could probably pay around so 350 USD that's uh, what's supposed to be its uh, retail price I did have to pay about uh, close to um, 1700 plus ringgit for this which is uh, around 400 above right um, since uh, we don't have it in Malaysia yet so it may not even come to, to certain countries still even at that price way cheaper than even uh, an iPad Air so I think there are few key uh, outstanding features to this so the this model comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera which is more or less the same for the Pro there is a Pro 5G model that comes with a whooping 50 megapixel um, rear camera so depending on the model you get uh, you would get a different camera so anything from either a 13 megapixel version for the Wi-Fi models and for the 5G you're going to get a 50 megapixel and there is also a 5 megapixel depth camera for the um, pro model but uh, I think this is just a dummy uh, there's no depth camera for the base model so camera module yeah. Pretty neat front facing camera which is 8 megapixel flush against the bezel so very very iPad like uh, would be a Mi UI version that should be customized a bit more for a uh, for Mi Pad experience so it should have a uh, split screen multitasking yeah as a feature so we'll be looking to that so pretty exciting stuff so you can see it's very very iPad like down to the bezels right so these connectors would work with accessories like this keyboard without you needing to pair it with Bluetooth or whatever it is so me UI 12.5 okay so if you already have a me account you can either sign in or you know you're gonna create a new one yeah it's gonna have options like find device 
and screen lock. Let's skip this for now. Uh, certain things you have to um, probably want to think about, like if you want personalized ads, you know, uh, probably want to turn it off, right? So swipe up, and there you have it. So you could easily mistake this for an iPad. It looks very iPad-like, and you can see it's pushing some updates already. It's got this program bar, just like an iPad. Okay, so initial impressions, very nice screen. Now this is a HDR10 screen. You can see there are no Google Apps here. So <laughs> I'm going to show you how we can install Google Apps on this China device and you wouldn't have a problem at all. all right, so before we do anything, I also want to test out the uh, keyboard. And let's unbox the keyboard now. So this is the iPad key. So you actually have a suede back here. And this is... It's got some kind of texture that tries to mimic it. You can see where it draws inspiration from. And of course, it's got no trackpad like the Apple Smart Keyboard. But this, this tries to like the Apple keyboard keys, the standard one uh, not the suspended one, right? they might have something like that I'm not sure how the magnets work for this so yeah, it easily snaps in place so there are magnets here and you can see it locks in so that gives that iPad kind of magnetized experience and boom, slots in you hear a sound the other thing is that this is not a backlit so of course you come with certain uh, applications that I assume you don't need so you um, might want to uninstall them so first thing you do is go to get apps that's the, for gmail so yeah so this is how you gonna start loading a uh, google app store just download gmail first So here you can see I've got my account running, so that's Gmail here already. But what you really want is the Google App Store. So if I type Google, I already see a Google Play there, right? It's easy as that. There was no problem at all. And so obviously then I can start downloading apps from here and there. That's it. So if you're concerned that getting a China version of this, you can't get access Google, that's not a problem for this device. This is how the case looks when it goes. So it's a very nice uh, leather-like texture. The UI feels really smooth and nice, and I like what Xiaomi has done with the menus and all that are very, very iPad like and I can just move it change it to dark mode. I naturally just did this because that's how would you, you do it on an iPad and exactly that's what happens here. So the whole experience they have tried to mimic an iPad user interface. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some time to play with it and we'll come back again to to see how this works, uh, how good it is in the next video. So I hope you like this quick unboxing of the new Mi Pad. Uh, yep. So the two again, there, there, there are different versions to this. There's the Mi, Mi and Mi Pad Five Pro. Now a key difference is the processor. This has the eight sixty Snapdragon, and the other one has eight seventy. So it's slightly better performance. But uh, I, even though I've not tested this yet, I have a feeling it's not going to make that huge a difference to me. If I was a Android user and I wanted an iPad-like experience, this is really giving me that vibe. Yep, so it's, gonna, it's feeling very uh, exciting right now. The only difference is the base model has a, in terms of speakers, a quads around speakers while the pro version will actually have eight times 
surround sound speakers but both of these have Dolby at most. This is an LCD not an AMOLED screen but it does run at 120Hz. And the screen looks good in the straight impressions. So we'll wait for the next video where we do a more detailed analysis and review of the iPad uh, on the V Pad 5. See, even I'm calling it iPad. So, uh, till the next one, this is uh, V Josh, and can't wait to get my hands and stop playing with this guy.